Hey guys, um, and we'll continue our doing our pathfinding. So we'll work on the CPP file right now. So in the constructor, we'll set some. We'll set the M, the M start, or is the M initialize? I forgot what I named it actually. Let me see real quick. I forgot what I named it. This one. Let's set the M initialize start goal equals false. And we'll set the found goal to equal false as well. And then we'll create our functions. The first one we could be creating is, a, is the find path. And in here, we'll say if the m start initialize goal, initialize start goal is false, we'll, we can uh, loop through our, through our open list, i is less than the m open list. size I plus uh, plus <clears throat> and we'll delete whatever is inside the open list if there's anything in there and on the outside we'll clear it We'll loop through our busy list. Busy list size. And we'll do the same thing. Delete. And on the outside, we're also going to clear it. We actually named it right. Oh, it's lowercase b. Or it is lowercase. Alright, we'll continue. Um, we'll loop through our... Our path to goal. Oh, that's why I forgot the semicolon there. And we'll delete it as well. And we'll clear it. And then we'll initialize our starting goal cells. So initialize start. And create an object of, of search cell. And call it start. And we'll set the start x coordinate if it appears anytime soon. Of M X chord. to equal the current pause dot x start m uh, x coordinate to equal the current pause dot z and that's what we'll initialize is there something I'm missing here? I forgot no and then we'll initialize our our N or goal, initialize goal, create a object or cells, a search cell, and call it goal. And we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, 
x coordinate equals the target pos dot x goal dot mz coordinate to equal the target pos dot z Hey, I forgot something here. Go back to pathfinding.h and I forgot to include our search cell file. Oh, silly mistake. Search cell. That's why I haven't been getting anything. .h. Okay. Um, and then we'll we'll call our set. Start and goal, and we're gonna pass in the start and goal. We did call that right. Set start and goal. Oh. I'm gonna spend everything today, and we'll set the initialize to equal true after it already has initialized the set of start goal states. I mean, uh, cells. And on the outside, once it is initialized, we'll want to continue our path. Okay. And that's it for our find path. We're going to go through our other function. And it says start and go. And this function is basically is going to be initializing our starting goal cells. We can call the m start m start cell to equal new search cell, and we can pass in the start m x coordinate. And the Z coordinate. And we can set the parent to zero. Or no. Am I able to use no? Earlier before this tutorial I wasn't able to use no. Alright. Either no or zero is basically no is the same thing as zero. We can initialize our our goal cell. To equal new search cell and pass in the goal the the x coordinate and the, and the z coordinate and we can pass in the um, for our parent cell we can pass in the goal. And down here, we can set the start cell, our start cell G, to equal zero, and our H to equal the Manhattan distance of the Manhattan distance. And pass in the goal the goal cell and we'll set its parent the start cell's parent to equal zero as well all right once we set our we we'll set the parent to zero we will want to um Push it into open list. And push back the start cell. And that's it for our start goal cell function. I mean it says start and goal. Now we'll go to our next function. Which will be a search cell pointer. And we'll pass in the GenX 
tell. Create a float and call it the best F and make it to a really big number. I'm just gonna call it nine 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 nine. And by best F is basically it's gonna check which is the best F in the open list. And since it's gonna be the first time, it doesn't matter if it's big or, or small. So I mean, really big, since it's gonna be changed either way. And call, uh, pass in an int and call it cell index or just index, whatever you guys wanna call it. I'm gonna call it cell index to make to clarify it. And set it to negative one. And create an object. A cell, a search cell, pointer, and call it next cell. Make sure we'll get our next cell and call and pa and set it to null. We will loop through our open list. And say if the M open list I and the get F is smaller than the best F. This is what the best F is going to change, which is the open list get F is always going to be smaller than this for the first time at the beginning. And we'll set the best F to equal the M open list I I er, get F and put the cell index to equal I and outside of this for loop we want to say if cell index is greater or equal to zero we want to set the next cell to equal the M open list uh, cell index and we want to push it back to the visited list, so we already have visited. Push back the next cell. And we will want to erase it from the open list since we don't need it anymore. Plus the cell index. And then outside, we'll want to return the next cell. Basically, this function, like I said earlier, is going to uh, get our next available cell. And then we're done with, with this function.